everyone and welcome back we are deep cleaning my basement I'm going ahead and picking out some great music to listen to I always do this when I'm cleaning up just put on some really good music or podcast of your choice and just get going it makes the task so much more enjoyable I guess um, I've been meaning to get down to my basement for quite some time but I mean, I barely get a chance to clean the upstairs. So of course it doesn't, this doesn't happen very often, but John's mom had just left and I decided it was a great time to go down, change out the sheets. And while I was down there, I just kind of ended up cleaning the entire basement. So I was very, very lucky to have the time to do this. Um, but it felt so good. So I started with this main area and the back of our basement where we're, if we have company, they come to stay. So I'm just gonna be cleaning up here and then going into the main area where like the seating area and the bar is. And I'm also going to be majorly deep cleaning our laundry room because it is nasty. So if you guys have some spaces in your home that you've been putting off or you just don't get a chance to get to very often, this is a great video for you. Just turn it on, play it, enjoy the music and let's clean together. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Denise. I post videos every Sunday on cleaning motivation, home renovations, some home decor, um, just about anything home related. You'll see it here on my channel every Sunday. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so before you leave and click the easy link down in my description box to follow me over on Instagram where I post daily stories and just more of our family life. It had been quite a while since I got to a lot of the shelves and the tables and things in this basement. So we are going to be cleaning a lot of dust and I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys little bits of that everywhere we go. I mean, lots of dust, especially in my laundry room, which I will explain when we get in there. But my little buddy Ellis here came downstairs. He really needed his mama. So he likes to just sometimes watch when I'm doing things like this. But you guys, I can't believe the boys are already 10 months old. It's insane how fast time flies by but how many of you guys have been here since I was pregnant with the boys
I don't know about you guys, but I tend to neglect a lot of my wood furniture. I can't tell you how much I've been using my old English um, pledge sometimes, but really this old English, there's nothing like it. It makes my old beautiful wood furniture go from dingy to just looking brand new and more of a like showpiece rather than just something that's sitting there. It just brings it back to life, hydrates the wood, and it just looks really good. So if you guys have wood furniture and you need to give it a little bit of like a zhuzh, bring it back to life, make sure you're stocked up on Old English. It smells good, one, and two, it just makes everything look so much nicer. I have to address this. Every time I come downstairs and I look at the pictures that I have framed down here, they're pretty much all of Lenny from like four years ago. And I I'm so guilty of taking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures, but never printing anything off like ever. So I have no pictures around my house upstairs except for our hallway. Um, and I have four children and these poor kids are going to grow up with no pictures of themselves around the house. But I am trying my best to make a, a point to pick some really good photos and at least order them online to have them delivered or something because our house just really needs some more like personalization of our, our children and things like that. But please tell me I'm not the only one who takes hundreds of photos, but just never prints them out. Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> There are a lot of really random things that we keep downstairs. We do keep our printer and we keep our shredder down here just because we don't really have anywhere to put it upstairs. I don't need the printer in my office. It just works down here. But this little unit here used to be a toy chest at our rental when we were in Denver and we have one basket left in it and it's just been sitting here since we moved in. So I'm finally getting rid of this. The Mamaroo next to me, John was washing the little insert. So I will be putting that together and then we're giving a bunch of our baby gear to a friend of his who is uh, pregnant. So just trying to prep everything and get it out of here and just kind of clear the basement out and make it more of a blank slate again because then maybe at that point we can get inspired and figure out what we want to do with this whole space where the table is but our house is obviously a work in progress it always is i think that's just super standard when you've only lived somewhere for a year and basically redoing the entire house it will always be a work in progress and i'm changing things up constantly but i guess that's the fun part right
So most of you who've been with me for quite a while here know that just about every house I've had, we always have our laundry in the basement, so my stairs always become my laundry chute. It just makes the most sense to just toss everything down as you're walking by the stairs. Baby clothes, barf rags, kitchen towels, things like that, they just get thrown down the stairs. And then whenever I make it downstairs, I just grab everything, put it in a pile, and then I sort it in the laundry room. It just works out. My stairs are always covered, but it makes my life easier. I have had people ask why John just doesn't put in a laundry chute, but our laundry room is basically underneath our kitchen and there isn't really anywhere else upstairs that makes it convenient to drop through the ceiling here. So it's just this house just doesn't work out that way for us, but it's okay. My system works just fine. Um, I'm finally getting a chance to clean up the bar. I haven't really cleaned this area since we redid it. Um, that said, it's not really very dirty because we don't use the bar. We just will come down here if we're making a drink every now and again, uh, which is pretty infrequent. But I did decide to give this a nice clean down um, and I'm still just so happy with the way it turned out. I love this space in our basement. I love how moody it is. And if and when we ever have friends over to use it, it's going to be a great space to have. It was super satisfying cleaning the floors down here, especially with my steam mop. I hadn't steam mopped down here like ever, so that felt really good to know that the floors were super clean. Um, I just can't say enough good things about these floors. I'm not down here enough to think about talking about them to you, but I do try to mention it each time I'm downstairs. These are, it's new core flooring. I believe the floor color is staccato ash staccato stone something like that we got it from floor and decor it was super easy install and even though it still looks like concrete down here um, it's so much warmer and so much more comfortable so it was such an easy fix for us to install ourselves if you guys are looking for something for your basement I could not recommend this enough I know it may seem like I might be starting some sort of cycle class when you count the amount of bikes I have in my basement. We have two Nordic Trek bikes and one Soul Cycle bike that's in my gym right now. John and I started with the Nordic Trek bikes. We each had one so that we could try and spend time together, take the same classes, ride together because we weren't going to the gym anymore. And then Soul Cycle sent me the bike here that's next to the one I'm moving, and I love it. So I will be selling one of our Nordic Trek bikes. I just haven't listed it yet um, because there are some things that each one of these bikes does that the other doesn't. We're keeping one Nordic Trek bike and my Soul Cycle bike. So uh, it looks excessive, but it is, it is excessive, but we are trying to remedy the situation.
Now it's time to tackle our laundry room. If you're new here and you hadn't seen my complete laundry room makeover, I will link it here. You guys have to watch it. It is my most watched, most well received, and one of my favorite videos I've ever done. It was a huge transformation. Um, but that said, if you haven't seen it, then you guys wouldn't know. We really don't have an exhaust system in our laundry room that goes from our dryer outside it just was never built that way for some reason so we got what we thought would be a temporary fix and it would work well but it's like the worst system ever it's some like water system um but john's gonna try to find a way to put the exhaust outside like through the window that we have above here and then just kind of make it work that way but because of that reason we have lint and dust absolutely everywhere in this laundry room. So I'm doing my best today to just clean as much of that up as I possibly can because it is just so bad. I'm gonna be deep cleaning these little pockets here in the washing machine. So if you guys also need to do that, every time you look at it, you're like, wow, that's nasty, but it just gets overlooked. Today is the day, get it done. It felt really, really good. This uh, fabric softener trap shoot thingy was the worst because I accidentally put soap in it a couple of weeks ago and it just doesn't, it doesn't work the same way the other one does. Maybe, I don't know, there was just a ton of buildup. So just trying to get all of the buildup into all the nooks and crannies and things like that. I had to use a toothbrush. At one point I used an Allen wrench wrapped in paper towel to get in some of the grooves that I just couldn't reach. I'm sure there's a way to get the lid to this washing machine off, but I barely had time to clean down here. So I definitely didn't have time to like troubleshoot and figure out how to take this thing apart. So I just did my best with what I could find um, to get in there and it worked really, I mean, it worked well. Everything looks great, but I don't know. The, my point is, is that this thing was nasty. But we did it, we got it done, and now it looks great again. <laughs> You guys have to see my face here i have not moved this eucalyptus since i redid this laundry room you could clearly tell how embarrassed i was it was so gross it was fresh eucalyptus that i put in water it smelled great and looked great but it has been sitting here for so long it's so nasty but to my defense, I forgot it was down here. I don't spend a whole lot of time down here in the laundry room. Every once in a while, I come down here and I do a load if there's something I really need or whatnot. But a handful of months ago, John and I sat down and we were talking about things that we just really needed to take off our plate. 
things that were bogging us down. We both work full time and we have four tiny children. So the laundry seemed to be one of the things that was like bogging us down the most. We have so much laundry. We have time to toss it in the machine, but we don't often have the time to fold it and definitely to put it away. So we put an ad out on, um, what was it like Craigslist or no, it was next door. And we found the most amazing woman we love who loves to do laundry and loves to put it away. We offered her what we were comfortable paying and she accepted. It's a great gig for both of us. It's awesome for her. She loves it. And it's great for us because we always have clean laundry and it's not stressing us out. So this may not be forever, but we are so, so grateful for you, Carrie, if you are watching this. Um, and that's why you guys don't see me down here very often. I didn't have time before her and now I definitely don't see this place very often because of her, but just being fully transparent, maybe as the kids get older and our schedule lightens up just a little bit more, I can get in my own laundry routine. But right now, Carrie is my absolute, like she's a, she's a godsend. I'm quick tossing in one of these washer fresh packs just to make sure my washing machine is all cleaned out. I like to do this every now and again. I think it's something that often gets overlooked, but it's still important to clean your machine. It can get kind of funky and smelly. So they make these awesome packs to just give it a nice deep clean and get it ready for your next load. Don't answer the phone, spending the days on my own Then repeats this for weeks to come I don't care what I miss, cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs So apparently all of the lint that just flies up into the air kind of comes back and settles behind this tray and plant. Uh, it's a fake plant, but look at all this lint. I mean, this really isn't dust. It's, it's lint from the dryer that kind of throws up and then settles. Unbelievable. I mean, I didn't know this was here because I just don't lift this thing up ever. Um, and as daunting of a task as this entire laundry room seemed like it was going to be, this really only took me about an hour uninterrupted. And I just can't tell you how much how terrible I feel for Carrie that she's down here all the time, but how much better it feels now that all of this dust and dryer lint is gone. I mean, I know within the next couple of days it's going to start accumulating again, but we are working on figuring out the best way to vent it out of the out of the window here.
I think one of my favorite things to share with you guys is just the reality of the messes and the, the, the things that go unnoticed and forgotten in my house because I know I'm not the only one. We all have these spaces in our home, but I think that there are so many YouTubers out there who just get to cleaning and they don't show these either because they're embarrassed and they don't want to show it or they're afraid of the judgment or whatever. And there are a lot of people that do show it as well, but it's my favorite thing to show because we are all in the same boat here together I say that all the time I'm just a normal person with a camera cleaning my house or decorating it or renovating it or whatever just like you guys I'm not some magical unicorn who has it all together my house is nasty sometimes so I hope you appreciate the realness of what I show here and I hope it brings you guys some motivation to just get to cleaning as bad as it looks or as bad as it seems um, as overwhelming as it can be it always is worth the time and energy you put into it even if it's just 30 minutes a day I was thrilled to be done with this as you can see by my awesome mom dance moves but I hope this video guys brought you guys a ton of motivation and inspiration to clean up some of your spaces in your own home i look forward to sharing next week's video and thank you for watching this week's i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye say what what's going on don't waste your time being all alone say what say what you mean say what you mean and you'll get get what you need get what you need what i do what i do is try to get